Hey, it's Christine from the Plant Life Canada, and today we're gonna show you how we are gonna build a homemade hydroponic tower. So we have all the stuff that we ordered, which is a submersible pump, and we have our bucket and lid. And then what we're doing is we're going to have this tall pipe cut open for the net pot. And then the little pipe is going to attach to the pump and go inside the big pipe and shoot water out the top. And then once it gets out the top, there's going to be a plate here with holes cut in it where the water will drip back down through the pipe. So right now we're gonna start um, cutting up this pipe. We already measured it out. Every five inches we're gonna have a pot and then it's gonna be sort of staggered on the other side. And I think we're gonna get about 24 net pots in there. There's 26. How many? 26. All right, shall we get started? Let's do it. So this end we had to even out because the cut is just uneven and it has to sit in the bottom of the bucket. And we always measured out our cuts here that we're going to go all the way along. So we have to saw through the pipe and we're just going to go just as deep as this. And what that'll do is give us an opening for the net pot, five inches each one. So we have one side all the way done so far and it actually went really well. Our first one actually was the most perfect one it seems. And then we tried some different things. We burnt it in a couple of spots. And then the last one was pretty good too. Overall, good job.
So we have finished all the holes in the pipe and all the net cups fit real good. So you can see we have three rows. And then the next thing we have to do so that this will sit in the bottom of the bucket is we have to cut sort of a square on either side of this so that it will go over the submersible pump and sit on the bottom of the bucket. We didn't want the pipe to just sit on the pump itself. It's quite a small pump, so we need this pipe to sit over top of it instead of on top of it. But overall, all the holes fit all the net pots, so we're pretty happy. Try the pump. See if it fits. Pump is going to sit under here. Yep, looks pretty good. Lots of room for air to kind of circulate around the pump. So we're gonna test out our design now. We have the inner pipe attached to the pump. We've got our holes cut in. And then this is gonna be the lid where the water comes out on top. So let's see how it goes. And then we cut our holes on the sides to allow for the pump and the plug to fit. So that fits well, and then this goes on top. In, this is gonna go inside now. Yeah, we're gonna stretch out the pipe with heat to get that cap to go, or maybe we could just tape it on because the pipe is sitting on the top. Dry run? Yeah, let's see how wet we get. <laughs> I got it, I can hold Are it. Are you holding it? Yeah. Oh, it's working! See the water is hitting all around the side and you put the net cup in, the rock wool will get wet from the water that's touching here, so I can feel that it's getting wet. Look what we made, are you so proud of us? So now all we need to do is cut a little indent here so that the 
cord can come out and then this lid will stay tight and then it will keep the pipe upright. We just gotta cut it back just a little fraction bit more right here and then we won't have that bump. So we have our cord in there and we got our pump. Now the outer tube is going on. And then it fits very snugly in. It's not tipping at all. Once it's yeah. full of water, it will definitely help. And then we just have to yeah, cut, cut this off. This off. So all we have to do is try to attach this here with glue or silicone or caulking or something. And then we need to cover the top. We have sunlight touching the water in there can create algae. And how much did that cost probably? 200 bucks. But we'll get 26 plants out of this and free lettuce and herbs. Forever. Almost forever. But we also bought extra stuff to make too. So oh. we do have backup. It's probably closer to 100 for this exact thing. Yeah. 